See, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. Jeremiah 1 verse 10. Listen, as God's servant brings us accurate and lively instructions and teachings from the word of God. This is the school of prayer. I'll be taking a teaching tonight titled Understanding the Holy Spirit in Prayers. Understanding Holy Spirit in Prayers. I believe that we have that topic already on our graphics. All right. Uh, much teaching has been done on prayers. Most teaching has been done in the landscape on the Holy Spirit. But I will just give uh, a brief vote and probably mention one or two things. I just want to say that the Holy Spirit is a living being, it's a living personality. And maybe I should first start by saying that it is improper to use it for the holy spirit because the holy spirit is living the one who will anchor our prayers the one who will tell you what to say and how to say it cannot be a non-living thing therefore we cannot use those new type gender for the holy spirit i mean it so because he's the person, is the thought in the Trinity. As much as we cannot say that God the Father is it, we cannot say Jesus is it. That's the same way we cannot say it for the Holy Spirit. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. For the Holy Spirit is the is one of the members of the Trinity. We have God the Father, we have God the Son, we have God the Holy Spirit. He is the one that Jesus, according to John, said to us, I will not be opening up our scripture because if we have more scripture, we are going to be opening as time goes on. So I'm, I'm standing on an impression that we have had about the Holy Spirit before and we know about it. In the book of John, we saw how Jesus spoke about his departure and how he said he was going to send the Comforter, how he's going to send the Holy Spirit. And this Holy Spirit will teach us all things, it will direct us, it will do much more than we expect Jesus to do if he were to be with us. I just paraphrase what is in John chapter 14. When you look at various chap various verses of that chapter, you see how that the Holy Spirit is supposed to be a helper. How can your helper be a non-living thing? So that's why I said we cannot use it for it will teach us. How can your teacher not be living? It means that you may not also. If you give uh priority to to the works of the dead or the words of the dead, that means you yourself are also you are living in among the dead so that's why i said he is a living being so uh, having done that i want us to look at uh like two to three i have about four four sub topics here under this topic we already know that prayer talks about communication with the lord and as a language student or graduate, I understand that in communication, we have the sender, we have the receiver, we have the code, that's the source, how the message is going to be passed, the channel, the language. Then we strongly believe that communication is not complete, is not perfect without feedback. 
so out that we have many people praying today engaging in prayers but yet there is no feedback i've seen cases where people go for retreats one month two months and when they come back they are being asked what is god saying they don't know prayer is communication with god through his spirit and i say that if there is no feedback it might have been that you only did an intrapersonal communication a communication with yourself there is a feedback how that many people engage in their altar today they pray but the holy spirit has never prompted them to say oh you spoke actually to this person yesterday oh you should have prayed for that sick friend oh you should have done they have never had any communication like that and i'm saying that when there is no feedback I'm afraid that communication has not taken place. Probably, I should say that prayer, me, or probably did not take place. So, I'm standing on previous uh, knowledge of prayer that we have been taught here. If we have been a good student, I know that we would have known many things about prayer by now. So, my first subtopic understanding the holy spirit as the spirit of prayer understanding the holy Spirit as the spirit of prayer one of the emphasis in uh the word is teaching i think the first thing was to emphasize consciousness consciousness if there is going to be deliverance if there is going to be blessings if there, there must be consciousness of that particular thing if something is going to be instrumental you, are, you can have a gun for instance in your hand and not know what to do with it for instance if there is no consciousness if there is no appropriate knowledge we might as well make a fridge a place where you store clothes consciousness and the knowledge the right knowledge tells you that oh it is meant to preserve food items so until we understand also that the spirit of god the holy spirit is also the spirit of prayer we may not know too many things can we turn our bible to zachariah chapter 12 verse 10 zachariah chapter 12 verse 10 the holy spirit as the spirit of prayer the holy spirit is many things according to that john 14 is our helper is our teacher that's verse 26 says but the helper the holy spirit whom the father will send in my name we teach you also and so is our teacher is that and bring you to he, he helps us to remember so uh among many other things that the holy spirit is to do for us the bible says it's the spirit of truth it brings us into the knowledge of truth so among many other things that the holy spirit does is also what the spirit of prayer that's what i'm trying to say all right thank you for that but she says, and i will pour upon the house of david and upon the inhabitants of jerusalem the spirit of grace and of supplications and they shall look upon me whom they have pierced and they shall mourn for him as one mourneth for his only son and shall be in bitterness for him as one that is in bitterness for his firstborn my uh, i'm doing business with the first part of it I will pour upon the house of David and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and of supplication. The Holy Spirit as a person express himself in various dimensions. One of it is what? As the spirit of grace and as the spirit of what? Prayer. When you look at Ephesians chapter 1 verse 15 down to like 18, you will see where Apostle Paul began to pray for the church that they will have the spirit of wisdom and revelation and knowledge. The Holy Spirit has dimensions, has various levels of operation. And one of it is that what is a spirit of prayer. Like some of us here now, we don't function in one place. Maybe in our church, you might be in choir and still be a uh, world teacher. You might be in uh, media and still be an usher. The Holy Spirit has multiple functions that, is, that the Lord has, you know, delegated to him. 
So understanding the Holy Spirit as the spirit of prayer. How do we understand the Holy Spirit as the spirit of prayer? You have to understand first that He is the one who gives grace to pray. He is the one who gives grace to pray. How many of you have observed that when you determine, your determination alone does <laughs> cannot do it? Most times we determine after a very odd sermon probably in the church or in class you in fact as you were listening to this sermon you were you know making some resolution i'll be praying two hours in a day i'll wake up in the midnight you have built structure how many of you also observe that you might have even set time uh alarms i wake up 12 and most times when the alarm comes you just off it and because he's the one who gives grace so we have to come to the acknowledgement that the holy spirit that praying is a spiritual exercise praying is a spiritual thing it's not praying is not something that we can do by determination i've never seen a man that prayed alone with determination i'm not saying you will not determine to cooperate with the spirit of god but praying determination alone without acknowledging the spirit of prayer may mean that you will have to labor carelessly so he gives grace that's what uh, Zechariah 12 verse 10 is doing the bible says he helps he helps in the place of prayer that's romans 8 verse 26 he helps you will see there where paul was writing that likewise the spirit bears and he helps us he helps our infirmities and one of the infirmities is that we do not know how to pray and how we should pray but the spirit of god was he helps he make it intercession. How does he do that? He makes intercession. There are many uh, schools of thought around that. That many people think he will be praying for you. You just be chilling and be relaxing. No. He will bear with your spirits. And as he does that, you receive strength in your own spirits to actually pray. So he helps. The Holy Spirit helps. If you are following me, I want you to say, I am following. He helps. I'm following, sir. All right, thank you. Thank you, sir. Another one is the Holy Spirit. What he quickens the Holy Spirit as the spirit of prayer. He quickens. That's what Psalm 85 verse 18 says. So that we will not turn away from thee, quicken us, O God, and we shall call upon your name. And I used to say today that everyone has the tendency. Of turning away from the Lord and that's why the psalmist says so that we will not turn away from you we all have the tendency so that's why a man can actually be tongue speaking and yet be prayerless for a month because what everybody has said so the Bible says so that we will not turn away give life strengthen because that's what quitting there is still the same word used in Romans where it says that the uh, if the spirit that waked Jesus from the dead is at work in you, he will quicken your mortal body. That means it will give life. So he's saying that for your prayer so to have life, for you to have life to pray, the Holy Spirit must quicken you. He does the work of quickening. So that's why at times you don't feel like praying, but when there is a quickening, you just say, ah, I'm tired, let me just do 10 minutes. But when the quickening comes, 10 minutes becomes one hour, becomes two hours, and you are wondering, and I was tired though. Maybe your food is even ready. When it quickens, you will suddenly discover that food is not actually a priority that moment because it quickens. When there is no quickening, even if you have determination, even if you have plans, you will see that you will not be able to do anything. You will not be able to do the business of prayer. Understanding the spirit of understanding the Holy Spirit as the spirit of prayer also know that he is a transporter he transports us you cannot accept your location is changed by the Spirit you cannot pray well and what do I mean by that the same way the transportation system in the head helps us to you know makes our journey easier imagine you going from here to another state and you are trekking you know what that means it transports us so likewise the spirit of god anytime we are privileged anytime we have received grace received help received quickening what those things does to us is that it transports us 
it makes us in equal dimension with god by the spirits you begin to see from where god is seeing from it begins to stir up your desires at times you will want to pray you don't even have prayer point but all of a sudden as you begin to pray after you, that means you have received strength you have received grace you have received a uh, quickening you will suddenly have a burden in your heart it may drop something in your heart to do it may ask you to begin to pray for somebody what is it trying to do it's trying to what bring you to what the father is doing us at that time that's that activity that revelation that's that knowledge he gave to you to do business with in the place of prayer is the transport is the vehicle at which he used to bring you to what god is doing at that current moment if not we might do a lot of things thinking we are praying and we'll see that there is no result may i tell you that most times it's because many people are not actually speaking from where god is speaking they have not been transported by the spirit to where god is that's why most times most of our altars is fall to the ground i've seen cases where people will just say ah pray for me pray for me when there is no word when i don't know what god is doing in your life that time i might not be able to utter anything i'll just it is well with you because uh by, by by the rules of prayer it is not it ought not to be that you are uttering a word in the place of prayer that was not orchestrated by the spirit of god so that's why we have many you know out of anger out of uh let's say zeal we have made declarations that have no result because we were not allowed or we did not allow the spirit of god to transport us to what god is doing at times when something painful happens people cause people do all sort of things and you'll be wondering to not avail people speak for even declarations how many of us see many declarations going on online many people look opposite or let me say some people look opposite to what the declaration looks like oh i am a man of grace i am a man of kenekan and so on and so forth you will discover at the end of the day that the man of grace is only a man of grace on status he cannot do five minutes ten minutes it's because you can communicate you can say a whole lot of things until you are transported by the spirits you will not be able to say things from the realm of god i pray in the name of jesus that will find help tonight to be transported to feel the heartbeats of god in the name of jesus so many times it's because we are not transported that is why we cannot pray the prayers of god we just pray our needs as i'm going to work let me not fall from bike let me not do this because we are not praying from the heart of the father when you are transported when you are carried by the spirit you will discover that your need will not even be an issue in the place of prayer we count 12 last have i even asked god to do something for me because you will be burdened many people are not transported to the heart of god that's why they are not burdened and it is carelessness to live our lives without burden the last time god even told you how he feels you don't even know i tell you again that if you know if you are permitted to just feel the heartbeat of god to know how pain he is about the way some of us live our lives i tell you you will not remember to pray for your needs again i'm not saying praying for your need is not good though i'm just trying to say that most times we pray outside god and because of that it seems as if god does not answer prayer so tonight as you understand the holy spirit that he is the spirit of prayer he is the director he is the chief in charge of prayer he's the one that tells you what to say he's the one that knows the advent of jesus he's the one that can communicate to you as you as you acknowledge him before you pray you will begin to find help in the name of jesus you will find grace you will find quickening in the name of jesus amen amen all right i want us to move ahead because of our time or should i take one more the holy spirit as the pleasure is the director that's second thessalonians chapter 3 verse 5 is is the director he directs your heart into the love of god so that you can pray that means he is the leader so he leads you he leads you 
so that you will be able to exercise your faith. That's why at times you are praying and you are even as you are praying, you are not even expecting an answer. <laughs> Some people pray and they don't even believe that their prayer can be answered. It's because they have not been led. They have not been led. How many of you have encountered a situation where you are just so you don't you don't even know, but you are just so confident that this thing will work, even when you are not even sure. Because he leads, he leads. He's the he's the prayer leader. Eh? All prayers, secretary, prayer leaders, prayer directors, and you know, uncle, they have to wide under his canopy to lead. If there is no prayer leader without the Spirit of God, he is the one who leads. And that's why each time we pray, we pray in the in tongues. What we are doing when we start our prayers, we pray in tongues, is to is to access his mind because we know that anything we see outside him is total rubbish. And it's uh, it's tantamount to wasting people's time. So he he is the one, he's the one that will lead. He's the one that will say, This is what to say, this is what to do. It doesn't matter if your books is full with prayer points. When you get to the place as you acknowledge him, how many of you have gone to the place of prayer? You may even have traveled to a mountain because of one particular pressing issue, and you got there and you are praying of another thing entirely. Because what is the director? He's the one who knows what everyone is interested in at that moment. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, let me quickly list a few things that happens when we pray without the Holy Spirit. One, if the Holy Spirit does not help in prayers, you know I said this is our helper, your prayer will be like that of Pharisee, very tiring. You will be spending long time, yet no results. How many of you have prayed? You prayed, you did many gymnastics in that place of prayer. But at last, you were worn out. He's the one who helps. He's the one who helps. That's why people pray five, five hours per day, six hours per day, four hours per day, and yet they are still able to regulate things. He's the one who helps in the place of prayer. People pray as if prayer is just... You know, some people pray almost every two, two minutes. You see something like, I've met somebody who pray every five, five minutes. Every five, five minutes. He has been helped. I'm trying to say, and that's one of the reasons why we have to have a practical class yesterday. One of the goals is to build your prayer consciousness. Like I said, some people can connect with God even in the morning and after that till the next day. They, don't, they cannot say what everyone is doing part-time. It is... For those people, when they are privileged to pray for the sick, they have to first go on three days marathon fast before they could come back to pray for the headache. Because they have not allowed the Holy Spirit to help them. So you pray like the Pharisee. How does the Pharisee pray? Matthew 6 tells us how the Pharisees will go in the open. They will make people know that they are praying, where they are fasting. So many of the prayers we have, when you know people who have not been helped in the place of prayer, they are the ones who only pray on their status. They don't have prayer altar. They don't know, they don't have a time they meet with God, but every time you will see them quoting Bible, men not to pray and not to pray. They screenshot the, the, the photos of different people praying. In fact, they might even go to a program and they are targeting the car cameraman to stab them. So they post this and everybody is sending fire emoji into their DMs. And yet they cannot pray five minutes alone. So when you start praying like the Pharisees, these are some of the traits that you see. People who have prayer altar, you don't see them brag and, and make noise all the time. So I'm saying that if you do not allow God to help you, your, your tongues will be the loudest in the church, yet you cannot even, your, your, your one minute cannot actually open heaven. May you not be that kind of Christian in the name of Jesus. Number two, if he does not lead you into his love, you won't be able to exercise faith. You will only remain among the wishers. I'm trying to say that you will just wish many things happen. <laughs> Assuming that you can do this thing. I'll just pray now and it will happen. That's what you keep on doing until you allow him lead you. Until you allow him lead you. The Lord is helping us. If he doesn't quicken you, your prayer will have no life. Even though it is loud. I wrote here that if he doesn't quicken you, your prayer, though loud, we have no life. Because he is the one that gives life to your prayer. He is the one. How many of you have been in a prayer meeting and you don't, it, it's as, I don't want to use boring. There, there is no life at all. He quickens, he's the one who quickens. The moment you, you, you utter words 
that was not quickened by him you see that the life dies at times it's instant at times it'd be like span he rose for a while and that's all that's why even when you wake up and you have not been quickened by his spirit yet though you you you, you do something called tongues you discover that last before you know it you're already watching a movie how that many people started up prayer but because there was no quickening they ended up posting things on whatsapp they ended up reading whatsapp and replying message they didn't allow the spirit of god to quicken them so that we will not turn away from me. quicken also god so that we can call upon your name if it doesn't lead you you will be confused in the place of prayer you will just know you want to pray but you are confused so that's why you must allow him lead you if it doesn't transport you you will remain in the flesh and by implication, you can expect praying amiss. There was a place, you know, I was talking of transport. There was a place Elijah prayed from in the book of 1 Kings chapter 18. He says, before the Lord whom I stand, <laughs> he spoke about his location. So many people were seeing Elijah and they're saying this one is the troubler of Israel. But as far as Elijah is concerned, he was in another eye. Kabbalah Subra, Kesto Villa. He was somewhere, he was in a location. So it was before the Lord who me stand. And that's why I am not sure that the declaration of Elijah to call down fire was up to 15 seconds. Yet the Baal, the, the priest of Baal, have been shouting fire, calling on their God for a whole day. They caught themselves. But somebody that was able to get transportation into the place of God spoke in 15 seconds. After he had built the altar, he just spoke. Aside building the altar, one other thing we saw there is that what he was transported. He said, he was How can somebody be among people and still be saved before God, whom I stand? He has been transported. The same way we see in Peter when Jesus Christ asked in Matthew, Who do men say I am? Everybody was saying, Is this, is that, is that. But there was a transportation system that helped Peter called in the spirit. He was caught up in the spirit. And he could just say that, oh, you are you are the son of God. He was able to give it accurately. You, I'm saying that you cannot do anything accurate in the place of prayer if you are not transported. Most of the time, we struggle a lot in the place of prayer because we are not transported. I'm trying to say that thing we call ascend. Now, can we ascend now? I know many, many people don't know the meaning of that. You are trying to say, you are looking for transportation. Something that will lift you into the spirit. At times it could be true song. You may wake up at times with songs in your heart. As you begin to sing that song, the presence of God begins to get intense. You may wake up with a scripture in your heart. As you begin to meditate on, on it, you will just suddenly discover that God has started speaking with you. How that many of us throw that opportunity away. A song comes, you prefer to just play one song and just dance to it and forget about it. The song that is supposed to transport you. For me many times, in, uh, in hymns, there are songs that, that are in the book, hymns as being a major tool for transportation at times i just in fact by by the kind of aims that come into my spirit I, I i can sense what god is doing around me at times so he comes he comes so most times you will be praying the prayer of cleansing when the lord is actually allocating mercy because you did not allow him to transport you i pray that tonight you will you will give him the opportunity to transport you just like Elijah so that you will boldly say before the Lord how many of us can have that testimony on our altar today that you are doing your altar before the Lord you are in his presence oh I'm going above the shadows into the presence of God into the presence of Jesus I'm going aya today. Ale masubraka venno soprika le barato sevanatash. If he doesn't give you grace, that's another one. You are not educated to pray. You know that grace teaches you. It, so grace is a teacher. So how do you know what to pray? He teaches. So if you do not allow him give you grace. <laughs> How then can you pray? Did you observe that in that in, in that Zechariah 12 verse? Did you remember? Did you take note that grace came first before supplication? That you must be taught 
and then you will not be able to make supplication if then how can you make supplication he gives grace i want us to in one minute ask the lord which one have you found missing in your life today labros kevana sopra keso vela brash alebre si banako sobrakash brasem barakatash have you been short of grace in the place of prayer erosi mande ebra sobrakasha bane koto brakash Vasonte reketo veli brakosu vila brendo subradash ebro shabaladash have you been determined have you been writing structures have you been setting alarms and you find out that you have not received the quickening can you ask the lord that by his spirit you are quickening you are quickened you are quickened you are quickened is the spirit of prayer a common sobra shabaladabash have you been giving instruction to intercede and you are suddenly struggling with it he is the one who quickens he's the one who gives lives he's the one who transports before the lord whom i stand Eman Sobratash. thank you father in jesus name we'll pray if you are with me can we move ahead yes sir all right another stop heading is the holy spirit as the revealer in the place of prayer <laughs> the holy spirit as the revealer that's my subtopic too the holy spirit as the revealer in prayers romans 8 verse 27 well, you know we are treating understanding the role of the holy spirit in prayers so uh, that's why i'm going this way is the revealer in prayer that's the second subtopic is satis that's romans 8 verse 27. what other reason why prayer may be a burden to you I, I, i'm not saying burden that the lord said now that it's, it's like a load it's like a problem it's like a it's, it's like an unavoidable problem the reason is because at times when you pray without revelation you don't even know what what inspired that prayer don't be like ministers who only receive revelation by what is going on in nigeria and that is the sermon for the for the sunday it is the holy spirit that reveals he searched he searched he searched the heart he knows what is in the mind of the spirit because he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of god the holy spirit is, is the one who reveals the will of the father is the one who searches when he started he brings it to you he informs you if we if we if we don't pass through all these things in the place of prayer we would have been doing many things that we are calling prayer and that is why I, and may i say this that you see it is just trust god to define what you are doing for instance many family authors have no have no life again because what is going on there is no longer by revelation it's by tradition you may be doing 60 hours per day four hours per day three hours per day i'm trying to say that if it does not reveal to you you would have been doing so many gymnastics thinking you are praying and that is why have you seen people who do three hours per day four hours per day yet when they get angry when you hear the words coming out of their mouth when you hear the kind of song they listen to you are wondering ah, is it not this song speaking brother it is because you can be doing prayer every day and yet it has no impact in you and why will it be that you pray and there is no impact why is it that you pray and god did not take advantage of that to do something in your heart this may be because you are praying out of revelation so the, uh, my brother i'm trying to say the fact that you do something called prayer every day doesn't actually mean that you're actually touching the heart of the father and that's why i asked at the beginning that when last has he scored you when last has he warned you when last has he directed you why will you carry the holy spirit the spirit of prayer is the prayer director himself and yet many things come to you suddenly you don't know why will you have communion with him in a day and yet the day you, you were lost throughout the day it might have been that you 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 did it yourself without the spirit of god so he searches when he searches, he tells you 
what the will of the father is that time and that's why i said we must trust much authority to maintain connection with him party because you are seeing somebody that was rude to you the holy spirit is seeing a, a an upcoming evangelist so if you do not allow him if you do not afford him that connection you would have you know spoke harshly to that person and probably you would have won the person over to him i'm trying to say that he's such he knows what the will of the father is part time he knows what you should pray and now you ought to pray it he reveals what you should pray we can look at first corinthians 2 emphasis of astral because of time so he reveals part time he tells you what to do when you look at john chapter 16 13 to 15 you will see that the holy spirit takes from the father to give us through jesus so if you have accepted jesus the holy spirit is in you and because of that it takes from the father and gives you and that's why when you engage prayer by the spirit you will begin to conform to jesus i don't know the kind of spirits that people carry today that they say they pray every day yet they still have unforgiveness they still have bitterness some people can there is no word that cannot come out of people's mouths some people there is no worldly song they cannot sing because my bible makes me to understand that when the spirit comes, he will take from and give it and give us you will begin to be a partaker of the divine nature have you wondered that because it takes from us that's why you are able to mix scriptures together how many of you started with a prayer with john chapter 3 verse 16 that as time goes on as you are praying understanding comes more understanding comes it, at times the mental picture comes and you are wondering before you know it you are in john you are now in romans you are now in, it, it begins to add scriptures together because what he takes from the father he brings understanding from the father and gives to us so he's the one that takes from the father so if you have been praying you are so, surely supposed to be taken from the father then as a revealer he reveals the truth he reveals the truth if you, the holy spirit if, even if you are prostrating for everybody in your environment to say good morning if the holy spirit says you are proud then you are proud because what he will tell you the truth he will tell you the truth the truth that you cannot hear from other people that you will call abuse or they are being rude to you the holy spirit tells you the truth so if the holy spirit says this is what you should do this is what you should pray about just believe it that is the truth he will tell you the truth so he reveals so i'm saying today that your prayers can be you know can be without revelation and it is it is very dangerous when you pray without revelation when you pray and there is no next week i'll be laying emphasis on the words that's why i'm not saying too much because you have to understand it reveals the truth god's word is a truth or is the truth not a is the truth and must be revealed so the holy spirit is a revealer you have to understand that you don't have any revelation <laughs> aside the one the holy spirit reveals to you and that is why you must lean on him you must lean on him if you will do it your prayer enterprise fruitfully and successfully you must lean on him oh oh the lord will help us tonight in the name of jesus let's quickly move on because of time the holy spirit as a builder that's another subheading the holy spirit as a builder the holy spirit as a builder that's jude verse 20 that's jude 1 20. we all know that popular scripture and most of them want to steer people to pray in tongues say building up your most holy faith praying the holy it is not the tongues that build you it is the holy spirit so you are supposed to see the dimension of the holy spirit building you up such that if you started with 10 minutes today as you pray you are being built you are, you are getting built and as you are doing that you are moving from one level to another before you know it you can do one hour you can do this because what he builds in a large capacity that's what i'm trying to say i may I clarify when you say praying in the spirit praying in the spirit can mean praying in the holy ghost that is praying in tongues it is correct you can pray in understanding and yet 
still be praying in the spirit and that's why we say he reveals when the spirit reveals to you and though you are praying understand it for instance if you wake up and the holy spirit begins to say begin to plead the blood of jesus as you are stirred up and you are beginning to say the blood of jesus and you are beginning to make that you are actually praying in the spirit because what is one who orchestrated it i believe we got that well if you understand that say amen Amen. If I'm not hearing, okay, I'm scared. Let me hear more amen so that I can be sure we understand that. Okay, amen. all right, amen. All right, all right. Uh, not uh, not typing, not typing response or not giving response does not mean you are on go. Okay, so when we have the need for response, please let's do that. It's not it's not part of humility. It's an instruction actually. So let's always respond when we ought to. Thank you. The Holy Spirit as a giver. Let's move on. I don't want to stay too long that he builds after that. So he, the Holy Spirit as a giver. Higher. He gives. The manifestation of the Spirit gives believers an advantage in the place of prayer. Huh? There are many, there are numerous examples of that. How do people come to you to say this and this is happening to you? And you know, because of the zeal or because of how dear the person is to you, you want to quickly, but by the word of knowledge, by the word of wisdom, they are just saying, Oh, no, that's not what is happening actually. This and this. How many of us have dreams and there is no interpretation? And because of that, we cannot navigate correctly in the place of prayer. The Holy Spirit gives. That's First Corinthians 12. You will see it, I think, from verse 1 down. You see, different spiritual gifts. gifts. The Holy Spirit gives. He gives spiritual gifts. He gives stamina. He gives energy. He makes us combustible so that we can what we can do business in prayers. I'm saying if you if you do not benefit for the giftings via the Holy Spirit, prayer will be an hard work for you. I remember one 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 drama night I went to ministry. After the ministration, we were just giving thanks to God, and and a prophecy came forth that people have been shot with the arrow of death, and a, about two persons were prophesying at the same time. Oh my God! How how that I love that gift of prophecy. And as everybody was praying, rebuking the arrow, rebook it, you know. I, uh, from like five arrows that were shot, according to the prophecy, it's 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 reduced four. As we intensify prayer, the prophecy comes again three, and lastly, now say, oh, it, it is it has ended. But we see the sign, and as the prophecy said that in less than two to three minutes, somebody dropped dead immediately. Somebody dropped dead immediately, and why even the drama called of that ministry started crying? Immediately, I remember this is prophecy. He just said we will see a sign so that we can know that what the prophecy is saying is true and we started praying we started raising declarations and to god be the glory the person came back to life i'm trying to say that we would not have we would have just shared the grace after that ministration and go and the next day we start hearing different kind of testimonies but because he gives <laughs> Allah masubraka seven atash. he gives gifts how that you want to pray for somebody you don't know what to pray and immediately he furnishes you with an with a knowledge this is what you should say he gives he gives i'm trying to say that you cannot downplay the place of the gift of the spirits in the place of prayer he gives you can you can be you can pray what you are supposed to pray for for just five minutes if you have a word of knowledge you will pray for one hour I hear there will be nothing. When people say pray for me, you don't even know what you want to pray for. He gives. He gives. And may I tell you that if, if you have downplayed the place of spiritual gifts, I, I challenge you this evening to what to arise to the, to see the need for it. You know, at times I'm just scrolling through WhatsApp status. I just somebody's picture and I, I just message this and this, what is going on? And I begin to I begin to see that what I what came to my spirit was actually accurate that's the apple to me this this afternoon i also somebody speak i just said well, this person is getting married very soon <laughs> alas today was the person's introduction 
and I just begin to make declarations that okay, this are, I was just working. so he gives, he gives. We see people start us, they they put a smiley that they are happy. If you see, if your land gifts you, you'll be able to say what's going on. Despite the fact that what the smart the status says is that the person is joyful, you'll be able to pick by the spirits. Beloved, I won't tell you all these things. You will realize that prayer is very sweet if you allow all these things to find expression in you. No wonder a, an aim writer, or is it him and or a anyone? No wonder he said, "Sweet hour of prayer, sweet hour of prayer that brings me from the world of care and bids me at my father's throne, make all my wants and wishes known." The prayer is sweet, brethren. Prayer is not it's not it's not hard work. Eh? You address she share labor. It's not the one where you go to carry block. Oh, oh, oh. Prayer is sweet. Or that you can be you can you can be strolling you can be strolling to get a bike to get a car you can be driving and you are communing and you are communing with your father prayer is sweet there is no restriction there is no location you know when you want to see the president you will write you will write letters you will follow protocols when you want to see the you, there are protocols but prayer this spirit of god is sweet so far you are willing you have the consciousness that you have to go by the spirit you will get to the location where you ought to be and you begin to get what god is trying to say beloved i want us to respond to god in the place of prayer i don't know how that this has you know spoken to you i don't know where it has touched you but can you begin to reevaluate your prayer life can you begin to evaluate what you have been doing on the altar of prayer have you been praying without the spirit <laughs> have you been praying without revelation are you even saying, I don't even know how God speaks to me? <laughs> oh, can you trust the Lord to help you tonight? Maybe your own is just that. Ah, this thing, all these things I know, but I, I just need God to help me. I am a Shabra Kose Vakatash. Breskin to Bala Brakoske Vale Breke Sovelata. Braskin to Veli Brakosko Velabra. Fenan Sobre Kesho Bale Bratash. Maybe yours is that Lord. I just want. I just need a spiritual gift. Ena kosko pri koske bana leba koska versu setena broko suve labrash. A branch so breake to be lebra kasa baladash. He gives. He reveals. He transports. He leads. He quickens. He searches. Leba raso ne kalabra kosa baladash. Brat keno bo se breake to be lebra kash. Bras can toto kapato breke sobran pelash reketo manabra kasava ladabash. He builds, he builds. The old spirit builds. He builds you up in the place of prayer. It is, it is in his building that he begins to call your attention. Wake up every eight o'clock in the morning to pray. That's part of He's building you up. He's building you up to take responsibility in the place of prayer. You cannot actually be built by the spirit when you don't have time, you commune with him. You cannot actually build it when you don't have structures at which you meet with him. You cannot actually build. You cannot actually be built. You cannot become a building that can host God when you don't have structures of communication with him. You just pray as the opportunity comes. At times, when we, when we talk about structure, people think you are trying to, you know, make people traditional. Somebody now says, oh, I only pray as led. That means if you are not led one month, or if you believe you are not led one month, you will be prayerless. And that has already negated what the Spirit of God is trying to teach. But when you when you are a structure, when he leads you, he builds you. He leads you to where you become a building. You must trust God to help you tonight. Probably you have been given structures before. You have been told. He wakes you up certain times to pray. I remember when he started teaching me video. He wakes me at certain time. Ah, I tell you, it's the best alarm. When he te- when he wakes you up, you are just you are just for life. And prayer is sweet. You will be doing videos repeatedly, and you will not even take note that it's it, it will not in any way affect your day because what <laughs> he builds, he makes prayer sweet. Oh, he gives life. Allah manatasabas. Taraskenovala brackets. 
Ah, Barraso Fekal, Spirit carry us tonight. Oh, carry us. La Barusa Banakatash, Bresco Fele British Abaladash, Aroske Bole Brakasha Baladash. Oh, carry us, carry us. Abale Cosco Prakosco Brata Shabaladash, Raskele Breco Tonto Teke Paratash. Oh, carry us tonight. Le Barante Teke to Prakos Cabaratash. Rezebono Brokos Cobranda Baratash, Ebreso da Baracatas. Oh, I see the Lord giving life, giving life, quickening our mortal body. I see him opening the channels of communication in the spirits. La Baroso Bracusha Bratash. I see us, I see us receiving impartations of gifts. The Brasse Benacoso Bratosha. Therefore, I open the gates of giftings unto you. The gift of word of knowledge, word of wisdom, the gift of prophecy, tongues and interpretation, the gift of healings of miracles. He gives. He gives. We give you praise, Father. We give you praise. We give you praise, Jesus. Oh, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we we'll pray. Amen. Uh, beloved, I would like to draw the curtain of the class tonight. I want us to press a few more minutes. I think I still have up to six minutes. So I want you to anywhere. I want you to begin to pray in tongues. Parase baraso belabratash. The fire of God will hit you. Lebra sunda varase la baladash. Karaso teke na barakata brash. Abaruske libra kasebe legibish. Eras pote inakosa. Aruske porate shabratash. Brate kosko prika shabaladash. I'm praying to persons here that have lost the gift of prophecy. La briske nafa shabarakadash. Oh, Labra, I ask that that Greek come alive, come alive, come alive. Let life eat it. Now, Mele Koto Karatos Baladash, Baruske Brante Kasubaladash, Ebrako Subrakatash, Abeketo Kosubratash, every Lord's gracious. Let life come, let life come unto it again. I decree restoration of all prayer journeys. Enakosa Bratos Ebaratash, Ebarada Banabados, Erada Banabalabos. Ebroske nafa subra ele so tebra the russo preke shabranda barakatas brase brako subra da baleketes karoske bron de de barase beli brakos baruske toko pota balabra brento subra de gada balabra ragados bresun teke la bratos ebranda ekos kute kopal brande de barasa pretuske barazone kete baladas Tete kosa brande la kato brande desh Aruske palabra kosa da palabra kose baladas Ebro su teke de bos Ebro kodoga de bro kose baladas Brande teke te kada brato skapa Bren se belebra As kupra kayu pres Kayu pres La sun se tena koso bradas Karoso brete se gede bala bro kosa da Lebro si ke tena subra Ebro sinze de bro kus Brande de se bra kosa bra Le koso prene subra dash, ale sabra de te koso bra ele se ketonash, aban supra kum belatash, bra si ketoria dos, re se kene bro do zebra de de bos, bar sa bele dos, abala ko preto sabra dash. Oh, we praise you, Father. We praise you, Lord. We we praise you, Father. We give you praise in the name of Jesus. Thank you all. Thank you for your time to this class. I believe that you will all bless. Thank you.